from innermost to outermost, these are the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis. Observation should have begun from the moment the patient entered your room. And palma erythema. These may be signs of liver disease. Look for evidence of jaundice in the white part of the eye or the sclera, and if severe, on the rest of their skin. In normal circulation, the flow is away from the midline, drawn horizontally over the umbilicus. In portal hypertension, the venous flow is... Think of the five Fs. That is fluid, and almost parallel to the skin. Apply light, deep in motion, and move from place to place by raising your fingers off the skin. Call for me. <coughs> Again. <coughs> Good. You need to use both hands. With the one hand on the back of the patient under the 12th rib, pushing upwards, and the dominant hand pushing down. Reduce the pressure if necessary to allow the liver margin to slip under your fingertips. Assess its texture. Note the presence of varicose node. This is a palpable left supraclavicular lymph node. To achieve good percussion sounds, place your middle finger firmly flat against the abdomen and strike it with a hammer-like motion and dullness around the flanks. The fluid would have shifted to the side they are lying on and air traveled to the top side. You can map out the size of the liver by percussing from the middle of the right thorax towards the right costal margin until you hear dullness from the underlying mass of the liver. Excessive bowel sounds may signify increased peristalsis such as diarrhea or partial obstruction of the bowel. It is best to observe the patient both lying supine and then standing to see if there is any obvious changes in the outline of their abdominal wall. An abdominal hernia may appear anywhere on the abdominal wall, usually due to a muscular weakness, whether developmental or acquired. An indirect inguinal hernia travels from the internal inguinal ring through the... A hydrocele is the accumulation of fluid in the tunica vaginalis which surrounds the testis and makes palpation of the testis less definable. Explain the procedure to the patient and ask for his consent. A normal prostate should be rubbery, non-tender and uniformly round, except for the median sulcus which divides the two lobes. First ensure that you have explained the procedure to the patient, sought your consent and provide a chaperone if necessary. Note their size, consistency, tenderness and mobility. This is caused by intraductal carcinoma. You may also ask the patient to lean forward so that you can assess both breasts visually for symmetry.